Dr. Margaret Nyakang. We'll be telling you about that shortly, but I promise to be sitting with uh, UDS Secretary General Cleophas Malala, Senator. He joins us tonight on the roundtable. I'll be joining him shortly. Good to see you, Senator. And uh, of course, uh, a good place to begin. The last time I spoke to you, you are in ANC party. You're wearing a green tie. I see it's been substituted with yellow. When did this happen? Uh, thank you, Ken. Uh, immediately after elections, uh, you know, I was among the people who were uh, rumored to be uh, uh, cabinet nominees. And you know, Article 77 clearly states that for you to be a state officer, you need to be not to be an official of a party. So I had uh, I resigned from ANC in anticipation that uh, I would be uh, nominated in, in cabinet. Uh, that did not happen. So from that time to uh, my recent appointment, I was partyless until um, we had in-depth uh, conversation with the leadership of UDA and agreed that I should come and uh, be the Secretary General for UDA. So by the time I was uh, joining UDA, I joined UDA from a partyless point of view. I didn't join UDA from ANC. Yeah, but, but you would argue that ANC is still an affiliate party of Kenya Kwanzaa. But looking at you, you're relatively younger than so many leaders from Western Kenya. Do you think you're being used by the president against those leaders who are much older than you? Because you are championing his party in Western Kenya, Malala. You know, the ultimate goal of any party is to form government and have a president. And since Kenya Kwanzaa, we only have one presidential candidate. I think it was uh, wise enough for my talent to be used in the mainstream party that is going to uh, ensure that we get uh, a re-election for our president. And therefore, this is not a move by any chance to demean the current leadership. I have a lot of respect to the current leadership of ANC and Ford Kenya. I had uh, uh, a conversation with my former party leader, Honorable Salem David, before I made this move. I consulted him. He knew every step that I took, and I am doing this with his blessings. So I have no absolutely reason to say that my new role will be used to undermine our current leaders in Western region. I have been brought up as a Christian uh, a child who believes in respecting the elders. I respect my former party leader. He is my mentor. He gave me a platform to be who I am right now. So I will not at any point want to disrespect him. I will always consult him in any decision that I make politically, and he will remain my father figure and a mentor in politics. So this is about political expediency, Malala. And of course, we know uh, the president, William Ruto, likes to mentor young people. Where do you think this journey is taking you uh, from here? Because this is a temporary position, Malala. You have not been elected and uh, probably acting capacity. Do you see yourself being the substantive secretary general of the party? Uh, of course, yes. Uh, that is where the end game is. I would uh, be presenting myself uh, during the NDC later on this year to be ratified as the Secretary General for UDA. Uh, but that is not cast on stone. Uh, the President has got his own way of doing things. We have a strategy towards approaching the 2027 elections, which to us, we have always said that that strategy will be like the proverbial way of peeling an onion. The onion effect. The peeling effect will expose the inner bud. So we are doing it in a, in, a, in, a, in a strategic way. So whether I will be ratified or not, that is a story for another day. Okay. But I believe that I am the right person to steer this party to the next level. I have an agenda for this party. My first agenda is to ensure that we seek re-election and uh, Honorable uh, His Excellency William Ruto gets his second term in 2027. The second agenda is to ensure that in 2027 we have a super majority both in the National Assembly and in the Senate and across all our county uh, uh, assemblies. So I have a, a duty to partake to make sure that we entrench UDA not only in the remote areas of this country, but also in the hearts of Kenyans. I have not heard you say a single thing that benefits the hustler. It's all about UDA party. Uh, come again? I have not heard you say a single thing in your agenda that benefits the hustler. It's about UDA party entrenching it in the heart and making sure you win the election in 2027. There's nothing 
Walala, you're telling the hustlers you're going to do for them as a, a leader of that party because there is also the pre-election promises. You're not even saying I'll ensure that the pledges um, are met. Can, can, can of course, of course, when we get a super majority in parliament, the objective of getting a super majority in parliament is that so that we can control uh, the legislative arm to ensure that we deliver on the plan. Remember, the UDA party has got the plan as our manifesto. We have got the housing project, the affordable housing project, which must be delivered if we have and if we can control uh, both houses. Remember, we do have uh, uh, in our manifesto issues of secu uh, food security. All these can only be handled if we have a super majority and if we, ha we seek uh, and have an assured re-election for our president. If you don't get political power, all those things you say will be an exercise in futility. As you can see, our opponents right now are hallucinating in the streets of Nairobi, threatening and wanting to uh, implement an agenda which they do not have a platform. So in politics, the most important thing is first to secure the office and then implement your plan while in the office. So my role as the Secretary General for UDA is to ensure that I provide a platform for the leadership of UDA to implement its plan come uh, from now to 2032 because it is clear and it is inevitable that uh, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto should have at least 10 years for him to implement his manifesto so that Kenyans can benefit from the plan which we are selfishly going to guard it and ensure that we implement it to the latter. If I hear you, if I hear you Malala so well, you don't have a plan for rerunning for office from member of county assembly Kakamega to senator you're running for governor i don't hear your plan in running but anyway that's a story for another day we are about to take a break because we are going to have an extensive conversation on the other end but i want to ask you this as we go for the break um i haven't seen top party officials congratulating you for example malala i didn't see um the bullfighter congratulate you for your nomination to this party ahead of the ratification i don't see benjamin washali for example congratulating you malala uh you know you know you know a congratulatory message is a personal thing and uh i am not here to be roused around with congratulatory messages my agenda is clear my agenda is to ensure that we have political tranquility, we have a party that is strong, a party that is going to ensure that it provides pillars for the president to ensure he implements his manifesto. So I'm not interested in receiving congratulatory messages from, uh, uh, say, uh, 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 Boni Halwale, who has maybe refused to congratulate me, but maybe he has all his own uh, scares. Mm -hmm. And his own, he, he looks at, at me maybe as a, a person who might be causing... Uh, are coming to cause mayhem for him for his aspirations in the future but i want to tell such leaders that my agenda is cannot be relegated to a fight in kakamega okay. my agenda is a national agenda which is meant to help his excellency president william samoy ruto implement his plan as promised during campaign so you will not relegate me to uh, uh, fight in uh, Kakamega. How is I that think, about me? I Malala, think, I how think is Ken, that about me I think Ken, you to fight? Because, because, because why, why, why go down to Ashiali be, and be Because Anwani? you've had a lot of favor from the president, Malala, and we have to take a break and we still have time to discuss. But, but you've gotten so much favor, even when you're running for governor. I mean, they chose Boni for Senate to replace you. You went for governor. Now, I asked you the first question about the leadership undermining the senior leaders in that region. And now we're seeing these people who are more senior than you are not congratulating you i know there's a lot to talk about unless you want to respond to that in 30 seconds that is a personal decision congratulating malala is a personal decision so long as i have the blessings of god so long as i have the support of the president that is all all right a congratulatory message from boni Halwale will not help me in anything <laughs> thank you cleophas thank stick you. around we're coming back to speak to senator kakamega former senator for kakamega county he ran for governor he was uh, tipped for a cs position and he didn't get it but we understand that probably what president kenyatta did with rafael tuju in the jubilee government a CS without portfolio. Is that where Malala is headed? Stick around to find out, plus a lot of other things. Azimio's deadline expires tonight, and he said this is for Azimio to try and get the handshake. We're talking about that when we come back. But first, a break on user. We're back in a moment.